Hello everyone. Alright, top decorating mods. Just like in my top building mods video, I'm not going to be able to show you every object these mods give you. We just don't have that kind of time. So I'm just going to briefly go over the mods, the differences between them, and why you should use them. Really, you guys should just blindly trust me. Just here. Here's the list of all the mods. Just download all of these and you'll be incredibly happy that you did. Alright, but for those of you who need a little more convincing, let's get started. Okay, first one is of course Workshop Rearranged. Not that I have these in any particular order, but I like this one the most. It is the closest to an all-in-one building mod that I have found so far. I've already talked about the structure building portion of this mod in my top building mods video. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. But the furniture and decoration tabs are set up the same way as the structures. We are given a ton of new items and the workshop menu has been rearranged to make those items and vanilla pieces easier to navigate to. So look at the containers tab. We have new categories, office, warehouse, home, and storage. And looking at say the warehouse tab, it's all items that relate to warehouse pieces, some vanilla and some new. It's the same thing for the rest of them. This sums up the mod perfectly. It's reorganization with a vast amount of new items. And that's not mentioning the new snapping system or the easy replacement of objects. It just brings so much. Oh, the new counters tab is one of my favorites. So just like the others, we have a few different categories and they all work and snap together. I used these cafe counters in my last build at the Mechanist Slayer as a buffet with these sneeze cars that just pop on here perfectly. And I've used a few different ones. Um, I think it was the diner. Uh, yeah, okay, so the diner, I used these pieces at my, oh, what was that called? Oh, the, the marketplace. Yeah, I built a bar out of these diner counters and it really added a lot to that build. And all of these objects, I mean, they look great and are actually from the game, which is a big deal to me. I've said this before, I just want to build and decorate with objects that are already in the game, but just weren't given to us. And again, this applies to just about every tab here, which I can't show you everything, so let's just do a very quick look. Okay, so you guys get the idea. The same thing applies to the decorations tab, and there are a few things that I want to show you. So as you see, we have a few more categories and really all kinds of things, but I wanted to show you guys the paintings and the signs. So looking at the paintings, we have the same images we've had before, only a bunch of different frame options. So under portraits here is frame one, which is the same frame, but all the different images placed inside of it. This is the same thing for all the frames listed. So before, each picture had their own frame, this gives you the option of having several different frames and choosing whichever picture you want. Like, I love these little desk frames too. It's the same concept, any picture you want and you can place them on any flat surface. I also wanted to point out the new posters. And these are not backlit or lamplit ones, they're actually paper, which looks and fits into the game much better. Especially if you're decorating inside, they wouldn't have these lamplit posters all over the place. They would have these crappy, torn up posters that they found scavenging. At least that's how I picture it. And look at the new signs we have. I'm not going to talk about all these. Just take a look at all the options you see from just a couple of tabs. Right, just loads of new stuff all from this one mod and I haven't even talked about all the decoration items. It's the same thing. They are separated into categories such as warehouse, bathroom, household, and there is just so much to go through. So as I mentioned before, this is the closest I've seen to an all-in-one mod. It has everything. New structures, new decorations, makes objects snap better and allows you to place things much easier. So if you don't want a lot of mods installed on your game, which I totally understand that, this is one that you should download and use. Damn it. 
Next up is Elven Blossom. This one has its own tab and everything is just right here. It does give you new furniture and decorations. A lot of this stuff is already given to us with Workshop Rearranged, but there are a few things that are new. You'll see that a lot with decoration mods. One might give you the exact same stuff as another, but add in one little thing that you can't live without. That's kind of what Elven Blossom is for me. Yeah, it adds in a lot of cool stuff here and there, like these TV monitors. I've had a lot of people ask me where I got these from, so here it is. Elven Blossom. It does have some cool stuff under its defense tab, like these little security guard desks. Just place it on a table, assign someone to it, and your defenses go up. But the whole reason why I have this mod is for its vendors tab. It gives you these cash registers that act as stores. It's the smallest, simplest thing, but it makes you think, why did we not have this to begin with? You can place it anywhere you want and then assign someone to it and that's your store. It does go a step further and give you these pre-made shops. Each one has decorations attached to it that relate to whatever store you're going to use. Like this one is a bar, so you have an ice box with some bottles. And this one is a clothing store, which has an ironing board and hangers. This is the main reason why I have this mod. So let me show you an example. You see this in every one of my builds. I'll just get a counter from Workshop Rearranged and then go into Elven Blossom and grab a cash register and place it on top. Of course you want to decorate around it, but the thing is, it gives you that freedom. I know we have similar counters from Bethesda that act as stores, but you can't place things on top of them unless you glitch them on, and I prefer having the cash register as the store because that's where the settler is going to stand. It's really just personal preference at that point, but I just love the freedom that we get with this. Alright, the Decorations and Furniture Expansion Pack mod. My favorite thing to say over and over. I've had this one the longest, and it's just like Elven Blossom, there's one thing that I absolutely have to have from this mod. It gives you some structures like this, these platforms from the Brotherhood of Steel. I just never use them because they don't snap together, and I'm not going to spend the time trying to line these up perfectly, you know? Although now that I'm looking at them again, I kind of want to use them, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, and of course we get new furniture. A lot of this stuff we already have from other mods, but again, there are some new things that are cool. And I like the setup. It's kind of like a separate workshop menu in its own tab. Now the reason why I like mods having their own tab is because, let's use Snap and Build mod for example. Snap and Build adds items and its own menu within the Structures tab. And if you were to disable or delete Snap and Build, then your Structures tab will no longer show. You have to go into its holotape or use a chemistry station to craft something that allows you to uninstall the mod. That can be tricky and can mess with your workshop menu, so that doesn't happen with ones that have their own tab. I'll go into more detail with that in my next mod video. But the whole reason why I have this mod is because of the decorations and what they call props. It's a very similar setup as Workshop Rearranged where you have various categories. It really just expands upon that. Basically, it has most of the junk that you can find within the game, like flower vases or vases if you're one of those, desk fans, typewriters, all kinds of stuff. You see in my builds where I decorate with like plates and coffee pots, Nuka-Cola bottles, all that, this is where I get it from. And all of these items are static, they don't move. This is the alternative to going around, finding this stuff, throwing them on the ground, going into workshop mode, picking them up, placing them down wherever you want, only to have a settler knock them over. This mod is very similar to OC Decorator, which I'll show you later on, but you don't have to have these things in your inventory to place them down. It just gives it to you. That's the biggest part for me. And a quick note, it also gives you some cool resources like these water towers and different planters. I use this stuff a lot too, so I figured I'd point it out to you. Alright, so this is OC Decorator. It allows you to place down any junk item in your inventory as a static item, which again means it doesn't move and won't get knocked over. This is the true alternative to dropping an item from your inventory, picking it up in workshop mode and placing it down. It just doesn't allow anyone to knock it over, which is great. My only grievance with this mod is that you have to have the items in your inventory, otherwise you can't place it down. It just it doesn't give them to you. which. I can see the point of having to go get everything yourself, explore the game, I get it, but if I'm in the middle of decorating something, I don't want to have to stop and go find an alarm clock, or whatever it is I want to use. That's the only thing I will say about this mod, because I don't want to take away from it. It's a great mod, I love that it's available for PS4 as well, I'm just a little lazy sometimes. 
Now you can use a cheat mod such as Cheat Terminal that has the option of spawning all junk items to your inventory and then you can decorate with all of those items via OC Decorator. The only caveat is that you'd probably have to cheat your carry capacity or just store everything in the workshop when you got it. But again, it's a great mod to use and that's why it made the list. Next up is Unlock Settlement Objects. Now there are a few of these. You have the main one that unlocks so much stuff that's already in the game, but gives you access to build and decorate with them. It's insane how much stuff it gives you. PS4 users, this is the mod. All of these I'm about to go over actually, are the ones to have. Same goes for Xbox users, but I singled out PS4 because I believe these mods were created for you guys and then brought to the Xbox. Most of the ones that I go over aren't available on PS4 just yet, but this one is, and it gives you a lot of the objects that the other mods have, and then some. So aside from the main Unlock Settlement Objects mod, you have one for each DLC. Nuka World, Far Harbor, Wasteland Workshop, and Vault Tech Workshop. All of which do the exact same thing. They unlock objects pertaining to whichever DLC and allows you to build with them. I love the Far Harbor and Wasteland Workshop versions of this mod because they take the structures that are given to us from these DLCs and add different textures to them. So example, the Far Harbor DLC gives us barn pieces and the Unlock Settlement Objects mod Far Harbor extension gives us new textures for those pieces. They are the exact same kind of walls and function the same, but they are made of different kinds of wood or even brick, and I love that. It's the same for Wasteland Workshop version, only with concrete pieces. It gives us new textures for those and they look great. That alone is one of my favorite parts of these mods. Honestly, if you downloaded all of these Unlock Settlement mods, you would have a ton of stuff to build with and be set for a while. Okay, last one on the list is one that I talk about so much. It's called Do It Your Shelf. I'm not going to talk about this too much since I have several times, but if you haven't seen it, basically it gives you new versions of all the shelves we have with a few differences here and there. Some are identical to the vanilla pieces, some are a little bit slimmer, but they all snap together and you can use preset clutter to fill them up. This is amazing and saves so much time. Filling up these shelves like this manually would take hours. They have presets ranging from food, bathroom supplies, to weapons and armor, and they snap to any shelf. The only problem with this mod is that the clutter takes up a lot of your build limit, but you can use the unlimited building mod that I showed you in my last mod video to counter that. Overall, this is an excellent mod to have to make your settlements look more lived in. Okay, so here are a few honorable mentions. Gruffy DD's signs and posters, Gruffy DD's signs and times. I've done a video on this one before called Mods Overview. I'll have a link to it in the description. This one's pretty simple. It gives you way more signs and posters. Same thing with signs of times. They're just different styles. Definitely something to check out. Dino's Decorations, this one is pretty cool because it takes a bunch of junk and groups them together for you to place down. Like a TV tray filled with food, and a drink, or like a chessboard, or a ashtray with a pack of cigarettes, stuff like that is a really cool clutter filler kind of mod. Old World Plaids. This one gives you a bunch of different textures for all kinds of furniture. So in my box card trailer park video, you see me decorate with this a lot. Basically any furniture item you see that has plaid or different style texture to it is from this mod. Last but not least is Better Stores. This one is very similar to Elven Blossom, but not as cool as far as items go. The reason why this made the list is because it gives me the option to quote unquote build various creatures like bears, death claws, and even aliens. That's right, this is where Craig comes from, and this is why the mod made the list. Alright, mod of the week. I wanted to do something comical like I did in my last video, but I couldn't pass this mod up. It's called Clean the Commonwealth. This is the mod that I have been waiting for since they released them for console. It allows you to scrap basically anything in the settlement that you don't want. We can finally get rid of all the shit in the street, scrap the grass poking through, all the leaves and garbage inside the houses. I just, I cannot express 
how excited I am for this mod. I know this is identical to Scrap Fallout mod, which I could never find in the search until just recently, but with Clean the Commonwealth, you can actually pick up stuff and place it elsewhere instead of just scrapping it. Like the roof of this house, or the house itself, we just pick it up and move it. I'm not sure when I would use this feature, but I love the idea of it. Now I've been waiting for a mod like this before I built at Sanctuary again. Sanctuary is going to be my Everest. Here's how I picture Sanctuary should be. I don't want to build a lot around the houses, I essentially want to rebuild Sanctuary. Now there are a lot of mods that give you pre-war stuff like pre-war Sanctuary houses or pre-war bridge or the entire settlement is pre-war and I don't want those because this is post-war, you know, I want to fix up the houses the best I can not with wood walls or anything that makes it look scrappy because we've seen our share of scrappy Sanctuary rebuilds. I just want to make it look the best I can with the mods that are available. And I think I finally have the right ones to make that happen. But that is it for me guys, I really hope this video helps out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I should be posting a build video either Friday or Saturday. I want to do a Christmas build, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this week or next, but definitely be on the lookout. Thanks again for stopping by, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon.